So this is going to be a short, hopefully short video to uh, help you fix the uh, remote access uh, not working, uh, specifically double NAT scenario. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is get the IP address of your computer or whatever you're streaming from or from which you're streaming. You got to speak proper. So go right, uh, to network preferences, at least on a Mac. That's what I'm doing this from. Um, and then it is right here. So you're going to remember that number. Go to uh, the router that your computer is connected to. Sign in, and most things are admin. And password is usually password if you haven't changed it. So this is the Netgear. Gonna go to advanced, advanced setup, port forwarding. Um, you can add a custom service. Um, here you can name it, you know, whatever you want. Plex, leave it at that. Uh, I think, as far as I know, Plex is always uh, 3240. And you'll keep that for, you just keep that checked if it has that option for both. And then here, um, you would put the IP address of your computer. So mine was this and then six. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna cancel because I already have it, but that's what you need to do. So you would apply and it will save it. And then I have that here. I just saved it as Netgear. Those are the open ports. Um, and then before you leave this router's uh, page, you need the IP address of the this router. And for Netgear, you go right here, and it is internet IP address, IP address, and here, 10, 0, 12. So you're going to need that, and then you're going to go to your other router that the internet's coming in from. Uh, we have Xfinity, so that's, uh, I think theirs are always 10, 0, 1. And again, it's admin password if you haven't changed it. And then advanced again. Port forwarding is the first option. Uh, if you don't have Xfinity, look for port forwarding. Uh, add service. Uh, I did other. Uh, and then again, you can name it Plex or whatever you'd like. Uh, switch that to TCPUDP. Uh, and then this is where you put the other routers. So this would be 10.0.0.12. For me, that can stay blank, and then again, do three, two, four, oh, oh, and then you would save it. But since I already have it, I'm just going to cancel. And then it's here. Um, so I'll just turn it back on. Then manually specify a port and then do 32400 and if it doesn't work we'll see it won't be negative right off the bat no, okay then um just restart plex Okay, and you have remote access, so now you can leave your computer at home and then go to somebody else's house or, you know, whatever. Uh, hopefully that helps.